Another successful training session completed. What's the verdict? I hate tricep days. And if you push me any harder, I swear I will have a heart attack. Well you know the saying. No pain no gain. Do you have any questions about the exercises in your program? Well, I am a bit confused. Really? What about? I know that all exercise is good for weight loss. But how do you choose between aerobic and weight training? It's simple. You don't choose. Come on, you better explain yourself. It is important to strike a good balance between aerobic and weight training. Because they combine beautifully to give you the body you want. The body I want is George Clooney. Well it's good to see you setting your sights high Wendy. But back to your training. To lose fat and improve your health and fitness. You need to do more jogging than weights. Running three to four times a week and working with weights once a week will increase fitness without making your muscles too big. So no chance of looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Definitely not. Weight training helps to preserve your muscles and ensure any weight loss comes from fat and not muscle. Well Gordon, weight training hurts so I hope there are other benefits to it. Oh sure there are. Resistance training increases bone density. And increased muscle strength leads better posture, less backache and increased health from better blood flow. But if I do too much weight training, won't I get big muscles? No. Aerobic training is your insurance against bigger muscles. The two types of training have different outcomes for the body. Oh, I see. Using weights builds muscles, and jogging makes lean, low-fat bodies. Correct. But if you only walk or jog and do not include any upper body resistance training, you will lose muscles from the arms and upper body. So Wendy, what have you learned today? I've learned that good nutritional eating and a balanced exercise routine go hand in hand to create a successful weight management program. Spot on. You keep this up and you will be doing my job.